Okay, this video here is going to be the tutorial for 4.4, uh, which still deals with sums and differences of identities. Okay, and as we were saying, and you look in the book, they have some formulas for that. So you can look in two different areas in your book for these formulas for the sum and difference identities. And the page 157, 159, and 161 have the cosine, sine, and tan sum identities and difference identities on them. You can also see the same identities in page 157 in the back of your book, or 158 as well. It's the 13th uh, one on page 258. So we're going to be using those in our area to solve some problems. Now the first example that we're going to look at are examples that are finding exact values of angles that have either sums or differences in the combinations of 30 degrees, 45 degrees, or 60 degrees. So in order to do that, we have to remember this table down here that comes from those uh, special triangles that we always work with. So I've got here in the, tr in the, in the tr triangles, or from the triangles, I, I wrote out the table for us. And I wrote them out with rationalized coefficients. So cosine, sine, and tan of 30 degrees. Cosine, sine, and tan of 45 degrees. Cosine, sine, and tan of 60 degrees. So that's what we're going to use, and that, that comes from the special triangles that we, we're going to be using. So our first example that I'm going to work on is finding the exact value of sine of 15 degrees. I want to just zoom that in a little bit here. So let's zoom that in a bit. Okay, so 15 degrees, well, what is that as a combination? Well, that's a subtractive identity for sine. So we got to look... We could say that that's the same as saying the sine of 60 degrees subtract the sine, uh, subtract 45 degrees in brackets, which would give you the 15 degrees in the question. So this is what we would consider to be a difference identity. So we have to look on the page, and I'm going to use page 258. And if we look at that form that they have on page 258 for sine, the difference identity is sine, I'll just write it out, sine alpha, multiplied by cos beta, subtract cos alpha, minus, or multiplied, pardon me, by sine beta. Where they're telling us that the first term is alpha and the second term is beta. So if we look at our form here, that would be equal to sine of 60 degrees multiplied by cos of 45 subtracting the cos of 60 degrees times sine of 45. Okay, so there we have our expression. Let me just check to make sure that's still in our field of view. And it is. And what we're going to do there then is we're going to look at just using those exact values table and working this out. So sine of 60, according to our table, is root 3 over 2. And cos of 45 is root 2 over 2. Subtracting uh, cos of 60 degrees, so cos of 60 is a half, and cos of 45 is root 2 over 2, or sine of 45. Pardon me, I was looking here. We're going to look here. Cos of 60 would be a half, that's good, and sine of 45. Well, lucky for me, sine of 45 and cos of 45 are the same, so still root over 2. So we got, we're going to combine these. So root 3 times root 2 is root 6 over 4 minus root 2 over 4. So root two, 6 minus root 2 over 4. 
We could check this on our calculator if we're so inclined. So we take our calculator out and we take the root of 6, subtract the root of 2, and divide by 4. So we get 0.2588 in our check. And then if we look at sine of 15, in fact, that's what it is. So we're going to do one more question here if I have time on tape. And I think I do. Yes, I do. And I'll do an addition one. So I'm going to use the same idea, except I'm going to use the cosine addition one. So this is a bit of a different... This would be like cosine of, well, what, 45 plus 30, right? Or 30 plus 45, if you like. 45 degrees plus 30 degrees will give you 75. So we have to look at the formula, and I'm going to go straight into the formula, and I'm looking at page 258. And the cosine addition formula is just the cos of both angles multiplied together, subtracting the sine of both angles multiplied together, if you look at your formula. So all you have to do is put those together. So in this case, it would be cosine 45 multiplied by cosine 30, subtract sine 45 minus sine 30. So if you look at that, we go back to our table of sp from the special triangles, and we look up what cos 45 is, what cos 30 is, and plug them in. So cos 45, if we look at our table, that's 2, root 2, pardon me, over 2. And cosine of 30, that's 3 over 2. Subtracting the sine of 45, again, sine of 45 is root 2 over 2. And co uh, sine of 30, in this case, is a half. Okay, just, let's just double check, make sure I didn't make a mistake there. That's okay, that's okay. Uh, cos of 30 is, yep, that's okay. And cos of 45, um, cos of 45 is there. Sine of 45 is there. Okay, so we should be all right. So this is just going to end up being root 6 over 4 subtracting root 2 over 4. Which, in our case, gives us the same answer as we had last time. So root 6 minus root 2 over 4. So if we do our check, the cos of 75 should be the same as 0 0.22 or 0 0.2588, right? So let's check that out. And it so is that way. So that's our tutorial for the first type of problem. In our next tutorial, we're going to be looking at using the cosine and sine identities in order to um, actually calculate uh, specific values of those angles without knowing 35, 45 degree angles. So that'll be our next one. You can talk to me now. I'm done. <laughs>